So hello everyone and welcome to a special episode of Jurassic World Evolution News. Um, because over on uh, Jurassic World Evolution's YouTube channel, Frontier have just done a live stream showcasing Mission 6. Uh, mission 6 was the mission that I was allowed to play, but I couldn't record anything. And sorry, I, I apologize in advance. I've got a really sore throat because I recorded a lot of videos yesterday and I didn't expect to be recording any today. And I've done myself a number on my throat. Also, I've got new furniture that's being put in. And um, yeah, there's dust in the air. It's, it's a great time to record. But uh, before we start, I just want to say thank you so much for the support that you guys have uh, shown on the, for that merchandise. It's it sold out. We only had 250 uh, of the hoodies, that is. And we only had like two, two, two sizes left. All gone. Uh, I'm trying to get another shipment in, just one more of another 250. If you didn't manage to get your uh, or the size that you wanted, um, there will be probably one more chance. Uh, that would be the last time we will get them in. Just want to say thank you before we get into it. Anyway, uh, let's have a look because there's a lot of things to pick apart in here and just show you. So we're going to be playing this without any volume. So we've got a lovely picture of the Jurassic Park gate there and you can see the explorers there just behind the gate. So this is obviously what they used in the uh, promotional trailer um, and this is just the next bit. Uh, afterwards. We got your boy Mark there, looking gorgeous. Um, <laughs> this is, the, the, I mean, the, the shots for these dinosaurs are beautiful. This is a better look at the uh, Triceratops. And they look so pretty. They look so gorgeous. I don't know. I, th I think it's the elongated beak. The horns are slightly different. The faces change as well. All the ridges on the back, the scales. Oh, it just looks it looks a lot nicer for me. I really like these Triceratopses over the Jurassic World ones. They always look kind of depressed and a bit too human with their eyes. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's pathogen avoidance. It's the uh, uncanny valley, maybe. <laughs> Here is the first time that we're seeing a, a good shot of the uh, Jurassic Park 3 skins, or would it be called 2001 skin? It'll be called 2001 skin uh, for the Brachiosaurus. The nightmare fuel shot where the uh, Brachiosaurus comes really close to the camera. It's terrifying. It's, like, <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be a magical moment, but it really wasn't for me. Uh, and this is, oh my God. Oh, look at that Parasaurolophus there. It's like, you want to see some leg? It's some leg. <laughs> uh, I think that is the 1998 Lost World skin. I mean, really not too much to say. I think the original skin was as close as you could get to it. Uh, and there's another shot of the um, of the Stegosaur. So we'll skip forward. Uh, not that they don't have anything amazing to say, because they do. And we'll just start playing it from their gameplay. Don't worry, it's not going to go on for another 50 minutes. <laughs> I'm going to skip to our highlight points. Um, I mean, all of this is stuff that you, I mean, I played, but of course I couldn't show you, which is, like I said, again, completely fine. Um, it's more of a mystery. So this is, a, it, it looks like they've changed a lot of this map. Um, this is supposed to be mission six, but this looks completely different to how I remember it. Uh, or at least the layout. So here we go. Avery time. Avery time. So here you go. You tra Pteranodons and you've got the empty slots. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Although the six one says slot. I'm not too sure why that is. Um, they're playing this on Xbox. That's interesting. So we're going to see them release um, a Pteranodon. So as you can see, it's a bit like the hatchery. And every time you release a Pteranodon, um, you get this little animation and it should follow it or you just get stuck there. Oh no, there he goes. Ooh, it switches straight to it. So this is a new camera, I think, that wasn't even in the build that I I, I played, which is you can follow said Pteranodon. Um, and there's this camera that just orbits around and as the Pteranodon does its animation cycles where it flies to one place to the other, you can just get these absolutely gorgeous shots of it. Now, I do remember that there is a set camera just in that walkway area that you can look out and just sort of like pivot in spot like you're playing, um, is it PSVR? When you're just like, mm, yes, this is nice. <laughs> but you can't move anywhere. Like, you can't like, like the, the Avery acts as like um, a big collider box. See, so this is the normal camera angle that you can have and you can click um, Q or left on the D-pad or right in the D-pad um, to go left and right to cycle through different views. But you are constrained to that position. The shots that we were shown uh, a few days ago for the on where it was really close up and it was this like panning camera, looked really nice. Uh, I don't think you can get that. You can't get that for these Tyrannodons, so we'll just skip forward a few bits. Uh, so there, there you go. That's probably the shot you're going to see. And now you can't actually get your camera 
or when I tried, you can't get it in the aviary. So you can't go in there and just sort of swoop about. It acts like a collider. It's like a huge solid block, um, which you can't, you're like stuck. You're trying to get through, like you're a physical camera trying to get inside. Um, and I'm just wondering if you can, if it jumps straight to that, it does, it seems like it does jump straight to that tyrannodon. Um, and this one I think is the one that actually, oh look, you've got cleaning animation there, that's new. Ooh, a little bit of a life added to it. Uh, we're also going to see a, a nicer shot of the compies, just to show you, uh, what they look like. And again, just for you guys, I've made sure not to shave, so you can, um, while, like, I was reading the comments on one of my videos, and I was like, oh, I wonder what people have to say. Shave, beaver, shave! <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> well, if you want, if you say it, oh, I'm not going to. Um, so there you go. Look at that. Lovely animations. Beautiful. I've heard that some people are complaining about the Pteranodons having teeth. Um, but these are supposed to be the Jurassic Park 3 Pteranodons. Um, so they weren't even supposed to be seen or made or worked on at all. So they're just some weird experiments. So I don't mind the teeth. There we go. Look at that bit rate. Look at the pixels. Oh, oh, it's on highest quality. Um, but there you go. That, that's them flying around. I, I, I do hope... You see, it also has rating. So... I, I'm not too sure how much you can edit. Like, this is what, what a combi looks like coming out. <laughs> I've never seen it run from the hatchery. Oh, that's ridiculous. And you know what I mean? Like, look at this. What, like, that's short grass. And I mean, the bit rate really does not help. But, um, yeah, look at that. You are barely... The only way you're going to see these things is if you just move your cursor over and you'll see it. Because I'm assuming its hitbox is quite big and you'll be able to click on it. But as far as viewing the area, and there it is going to sleep. It is, it's completely hidden. Um, as far as being able to see them in the exhibit, it's going to be really hard. And darting, I do, I, well, to be fair, the Comsognathus aren't aggressive to anything, including visitors. Oh, that one looks like it's got a different skin. It's got a little bit of yellow on the nose. Um, I would say maybe that's uh, gender dis um, di dimorph dimorphism. Is that it? Is that the right one? Did I get it right finally? <laughs> but uh, no, yeah, that's a different skin. Uh, keeps the green, but it's just got a little bit of... Ooh, that's quite nice. So we're going to see all of the skins. Next one, please, Frontier. Oops, we're going to be putting up the volume. Pabu! Oh yeah, look at that! It, ooh, it's quite nice, I like that one. And they are communicating just like regular dinosaurs. I would hope that they would stick a little bit closely together, like a swarm, a pack. You know, like you see when they're attacking Dita Stark and they're all on the line, like they're that compact. Or when they're attacking the girl. But um, maybe we'll see that, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's gonna be hard to see. I love the fences, that is like a Jurassic Park 3 fence with the big, big, um, I don't know. I don't even know what those are. Metal stars? Like, what What would you call those? I want one of um, those things on the fence. You know, the, the big spiky things. Yes, get those. <laughs> uh, are we going to see anything else? We've got something else to release here. Ah, the big one. Ooh, we're going to might get a good view of this raptor. The big one skin, the 1993 skin. Oh, it's, uh, it's the wrong camera angle. Is he going to click on it? No, just going to release more. Mark, man! Move the camera around, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, but we get a get a nice view of the ranger station there. I think we get some, like, the best bit about this um, is the buildings. Look at it. Look at it. I mean, it's sparse, and there's not too many building types, because there's the kiosk, there's a souvenir shop, I think. There is um, a toilet, a, a decoration toilet, which doesn't work, but it's the one from the movie. Um... Oh, and I think this is where they try to test out the dinosaurs attacking animations because everything's got different attacking animations, but um, I'm not too sure if they even attack the Jeep. <laughs> like, look how dangerous they are! Although we'll skip forward a little bit, but I don't think they do. <laughs> They're trying their best. They're trying their best to promote. I mean, again, it's like bad camera angles there just to get a look at the skin. Oh, there we go! A, a kind of decent view of the Jurassic Park 3 raptor there. While Mark's trying to, um, look at that. Look at it! It's gorgeous! Now, I don't know if it had the tufts there. I couldn't see. Um, but... Oh, the tiger raptor! There's a little bit of the tiger raptor there! Um, but... It, uh, if I remember correctly, it does have the quills. It didn't look like it had it there. But if I remember correctly, it did. So if we can just... Maybe we'll get another sneak peek. No, we don't. We just go back to the species profile. But there is still a really big um, announcement that comes from this. 
Um, now, I'm not exactly too sure whereabouts it is, but here you get to see the, the hotel building. I couldn't show you that in the Jurassic Cafe. Uh, they, they look so good. I just wish there was more variety. Um, a bit like, you know, with Zoo Tycoon, or sorry, Planet Zoo, my bad, uh, where you can get these buildings, you know, inside each other and they all look good. And there's the bunker there. Um, but of course you can't, there's like a, like this goes there, this goes there, and they can't go, there's like a radius that they can't go within. <laughs> there you go. Just another look at the compies. Oh, we're gonna get eating animation? <gasps> no, no eating animation there. Oh, there it is, the path, the path, or should I see the road for the explorer? Come on, come on, where is it? Where are you? I want to see it. Oh, you can see them just down there. They're just down there. But we will get a much better view as well as, um, look, oh, wow. So there is night vision as well that you can unlock in this game. I don't know whether you can, you could probably view in night vision. I would assume so. Um, I'm just hoping that we get a really good close view of it here. And there you go, that's the Avery being constructed. It takes a long while to do it. <laughs> oh no, 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 here we are, here we are. Here we are. Ooh, so we jump straight into a vehicle and there it is. You've got the, you've got the lights, you've got the, um, this, uh, even though there's a driver steering, that's interesting. Shouldn't really be driving it though. You've got the uh, cameras at the front there with the, um, the rubber band sort of things that go underneath. Oh, look at it. Now, for all intents and purposes, it looks like an explorer. It's got the roof, it's, it's got the half-height chairs, everything there is almost spot on. In fact, I, I mean, I can't tell from the center console, but really, unless you're a nerd like me, <laughs> you know, I mean, that's it. That's the right one. Ooh, do you have lights? Oh, look at it, it looks so good. It looks so good. I, I never noticed that. I never saw them when I was doing the mission, but I'm so glad that I got a just a much better view there. Explorers are in the game. They look like explorers. They're called, look at that, man. Look at it. Oh, that's what we want. We just want this. Now, do each one have 05? And it looks like you can, you can turn your torch on or something. Switch camera, switch vehicle. Now I'm wondering if you have night vision, if you can like click a button and then you'll see, you know, Tim Murphy's view where it was all green and black. They look so good. They look so good. It's, it's, it's a shame that it's taken so long for these to appear in the game, but finally, and you know, I'd rather they were done right. Oh, a little look at the uh, power stations as well with the, um, the transformer, like pylon things. Oh, and there you go, skins, skins for Tyrannodons. There they are. So it is very possible that we are gonna get, you're just gonna scroll down and it'll say 2001. So we're gonna have a look at all of the different Tyrannodon skins here, the coastal, the tundra, is it the tundra? The rainforest, the jungle, the alpine, and the null. Um, so we'll just skip forward till those get released. And I'd love to see the different types that we can get. Oh God, 73%. Skip forward, James. Come on, you can, yes. Okay, so this, is this the normal one? The normal skin? Oh, this looks like Alpine. Ooh. Okay. Are we not? I was going to say, oh you, oh, you can click on the Tyrannodon and then view it. Oh, okay. So that makes it a lot easier because you can't go in there and select it yourself. But you can click on the Avery. Uh, oh, we're going to clap. I don't know why they're clapping. They're clapping because they're releasing all the Tyrannodons. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see this one. So the Alpine was more black and white. Um, I'm not too sure what this one is. Uh, don't know what that one looked like. Oh, there it is. Is that the Alpine? E hard to tell with the quality, <laughs> but it could be. It could very well be. Oh, look at that. It might be. Yeah, it looks a lot paler. And it's got, it, it's a bit like a Velociraptor, the female raptor. It's got sort of red highlights around the eyes. It's more black and white. Oh, there you go. That looks like the Tapajalasaurus or uh, Tappy. Was it, what's, with, oh, the toy line, the Jurassic Park 3 toy line. Uh, they basically changed the Tyrandon toy that was React Attack and made it into a Tapajalasaurus and just put like a, a little thing on the head. It didn't really change it, but that looked like it. That looked like that toy. I wonder if that's an Easter egg or a nod towards it. Oh, they're all released now. Oh, and there it is, that's the end. So, I mean, we kind of saw the rainforest, I'm assuming, skin that was. Um, we saw the tundra, or the alpine, sorry. 
and uh, hello <laughs> i'll pause it there <laughs> it's weird when they look at you but yeah guys i didn't want to make this a crazy long video just to showcase kind of the the things that you'd want to see how we interact with the avery how comps hognathus look and work in the real world as well as some other look at skins and all that jazz uh, of course we'll be playing this on the 10th when this releases uh going through the whole campaign I will be giving 10 copies away of the uh, Steam version. Um, so what you'll need to do is on the first episode of that Let's Play is comment down there with your Steam name and your favorite dinosaur. Because, hey, we haven't asked for that before. I mean, I can't wait to just mess around with all the skins. You know, maybe have Blue take on the, the big one. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> or have like the big big one pack against the blue and Charlie and Echo and Delta and to see oh I just want to make Jurassic Park. I, I want to go back to site it was the easel sauna site B like the the second there's like a new part that we can go to in this uh, return to Jurassic Park whether or not it actually has campaign relevance uh, like we go there in the story or if it's just for the DLC uh, either way it looks like a really fun um, like map to experiment with and I know I, I know what I did with it and I made such a good looking park and I just I want to make that again but anyway guys thank you again for all the support that you've left on the series the merge I don't want to say it's uh it's it's amazing but anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye